the mood's always incredible in the morning. That's what I love about the race. Um, just the party atmosphere, the music being so loud. Everyone's pumped. Everyone's, you know, excited about seeing the sunrise and then watching it set and hopefully finishing before it rises again for the most part. The Havelina 100 is a 100 mile run during Halloween weekend, usually ran in costume. With over 200 participants, the event is just a testament to the growth of ultra running in Arizona. We've got, I think, 300 people camping this year, right at the start finish line. So you've got people from you know, out of state, all over the country. They come in, they camp out, they set up everything, um, big pop-up tents. Air Viper Running has created a community for runners across Phoenix. Whether it be their weekly meetup groups, events such as Coldwater or the Havilene 100, they serve as entertainment and support for all those involved. Um, it's a really cool environment because you know the crews get to just kind of meet each other and hang out and share a beer, uh, have grab a pizza, um, and that's kind of what ultra running and, and this sport is all about. It's there's a big camaraderie and people are just really friendly. While some chose to dress up for the holiday, others were more focused on their finish time. Michael Carson of Tempe finished in a little over 16 hours in 2014, placing third. This year, he wanted to do better. It's really stressful at times because you really want to perform well and you want to do well and um, you know someone's behind you, what gunning for your spot and you might be at mile 80 and you're cooked and you want something so bad but your legs don't move anymore, that kind of thing. Both Michael and Emily improved their previous times with Michael finishing in second for men and Emily finishing in fifth for women. However, will they be back for Havilene 100 next year? I think I will always do the Havilene as long as I can. <laughs> I, my heart is in love with this race. It's, it's my favorite. In Fountain Hills, reporting for Cronkite News, Zuriel Loving.